Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Welcome back to my channel, Agriculture Makes Strong. Today I came with the topic, this is in the rice. One of the diseases in the rice is blast disease. There are leaf blast, node blast and neck blast. We will discuss in the detail of the blast disease in rice. The other names of the rice blast is called as rice rotten neck, rice seedling blight, oval leaf spot, rice fever, rich man disease. The disease blast have significance and disadvantages to the crop. The disease cause loss to the up to 31 to 60 percent loss, grain loss up to 70 to 80 percent. In India, the loss due to blast disease in rice is 65 percent. Let us discuss about the history of rice blast. The disease of rice blast was first recorded in Japan in 17th century. In India, disease was first recorded from Tanjo district of Tamil Nadu in 1913. The causal organism was first detected by Kevara in 1891 from Italy and first leaf blast model was developed and named as blast in Japan. Most affected varieties of rice will be like R-36 and R-A-S-I, Rasi. And coming to the why and where it occurs. The blast can occur wherever the blast spores are present. It occurs in the area with the low soil moisture content, frequent and prolonged periods of rain, shower and cool temperature in the daytime. In upland rice, the large day-night temperature differ differences that cause due formation on the leaves and overall cooler temperatures favor the development of the disease and by this we come to the conclusion that the blast disease can occur in the moisture, low moisture condition and frequent and prolonged periods of rain showers. Coming to the rice, Rice can have the blast in all growth stages. However, the leaf blast incidence tends to lessen as the plants may mature and develop adult plant resistance to the disease. We have a question that how to identify the blast leaf, leaf blast in the rice? How can we identify? With the symptoms, first you you want to check the leaf with the lesions. Lesions are there or not? If lesions are present, how and in which color they are present? First, the causal organism for the leaf blast will be Pyricleria grazia, and you can observe here with eye spindle shaped spots appear on the leaves and we have the grayish center in the grayish color center in the middle and brown margins are surrounded. The lesions enlarge and colliers and kill the leaves. It stands from lower leaves to upper leaves. This was the symptom of the leaf blast. You can observe clearly in the image the lesions of the leaf. And coming to the node blast in the rice, you can observe the symptom at the nodes. It is caused by same pathogen and the patches on infected nodes are black in color. The irregular lesions on the nodes Above the infected nodes, all parts die. You can observe here, the lesions are blackish to grayish, brown and break at the infected node. Neck blast. What is meant by neck blast? Which appears at the neck. And the symptoms will be grayish brown lesions on the neck girdling of neck and grains fall over 
discoloration of the grains here you can observe the discoloration of the grains after infection poor quality grains are formed which will lead, ultimately leads in the less yield and less profit to the farmers lesions on the panicle branches spikes and spikelets why is it important why we should observe the leaf blast is occurring in the rice plant or not we should take a me control measure to control the blast disease in the rice coming to the some of the points like rice blast which is the most destructive diseases in the rice and which may causes the yield losses and it may occur at the tillering stage and kill the seedlings at the latest growth stages the severe leaf blast infection reduces leaf area for grain filling and reducing the grain yield it uh, can kill rice plants at seedling stage and causes the yield losses in case of severe infection so particular management practices should be taken and be followed in the rice blast disease in the rice the management of the blast disease in the rice will be following steps like use healthy seed for the avoidance of the blast seed treatment should be given uh, like uh, tricyclozole or beam 75 wettable powder at the rate of uh, 4 grams per kg seed and removal of the weeds must be followed use balanced fertilizers like no heavy use of ni nitrogen which may lead to Uh, loss of the crop and a spray beam at the rate of 6 grams per liter or bavestin at the rate of 0.1 percent and bavestin should be given at first spray at tillering stage, second spray at flowering stage. Count off at 0.2 percent and following the resistant varieties, you can manage the blast disease in the rice. Uh, the resistant varieties will be like IR64, Panthdan 16, Panthdan Shankar 1. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.